Well, playing with that sense of urgency that we had today certainly makes you feel better in the locker room. I told them and got in there, it doesn't feel a heck of a lot better when you invest more. And I think in the first half, early in the game, they killed us. The first few minutes on the offensive rebound, Steve's got some stats for you there, but we knew they were hurting us there. The second part of the first half, we did a great job on the boards. What hurt us the second part of the first half, we put them on the free throw line too much. But uh, I really liked what we did. We did have a much greater sense of urgency. J.P. dove on the floor, got us an extra possession. James Michael dove on the floor, got us an extra possession. And we did a better job getting the offensive rebounds ourselves. And uh, I think that was uh, key for us because they had us 8-0 or 6-0 at one time on second chance points. And at the end of the half, it was 10-8. First half, they had some shots that they would normally make that they dismissed. And that's just, you feel very fortunate, you feel lucky. But I thought James Michael was really active, really effective. I thought he had more than seven rebounds, but uh, I'll take nine for 13 out of him every time. Uh, His free throws are going to start going in. I I really believe that, but he's not shooting them very well right now. Uh, But uh, I thought Marcus gave us a big lift in the second half. I think Marcus had two at halftime. He was one for six or something like that, and he had 13 in the second half. But... uh, um, it was it was a good basketball game for us, and we need to have that sense of urgency every time we play. If we do have, we've got a better chance. If we don't have that sense of urgency, it's really difficult for us. Coach, you mentioned Clemson's offensive rebounding early. Mm-hmm. That changed at the second media timeout. Mm-hmm. Is something you talk about something in that timeout that kind of spurred the change. <laughs> I screamed at them, but I don't know that that does anything. I do that several times in every game, probably. But uh, I told them we were killing ourselves because we weren't doing a good job of boxing out. And you got to go get somebody. You got to go put a body on somebody, and then you got to go after the rebound like you really want it. But it was. It was. Uh, that was a story. The first eight or ten minutes of the game, and then I thought the story of the next eight or ten minutes was our offensive rebounding. Forty-five percent shooting for you guys against a defense that holds teams to thirty-seven point two. I think how things were with the shot selection. What was the big um, Except for one that Bryce shot in the second half. Uh, where he just barely let the ball go, and it looked like it might have even been a pass to some people. Uh, uh, that was probably the only shot that I didn't like. We got sloppy there, and Nate turned it over, Kennedy turned it over, and Bryce took that bad shot, and I think that was three out of four possessions. But other than that, I was pleased with what we did offensively, and they are good defensively, but the shots were going in for us tonight. James Michael being that active, is that a function of him feeding off the team's sense of urgency, or is the team feeding off him being active? Well, it's all we've talked, not all, but that's the majority of what we've talked about for four days you know, in practices. And I think that James Michael did set the tone how active he was, and he was the first one to dive on the floor for the loose ball. And, you know, you should play like that. You know, I, I almost don't feel like I should congratulate him because that's the way you should play the game. And uh, But uh, our, our teams have uh, typically done that, but we haven't done it nearly as much this year. But, you know, uh, look, at, look, I think probably it's a little bit of both. I think they fed off him. There's no question how hard he was working on the boards. and uh, But I think also that he saw his teammates were doing the same thing. Is there anything you and your staff can do to get that to become the consistent way they play, or is that up to them? Uh, more, most of the time it's up to them, and I'm not trying to blame our kids. But uh, you've heard me say, and every coach says, we shouldn't have to coach effort. But it's, you know, the more invest, it's like the stock market. You can't make money if you don't invest. It's basketball. You can't get success unless you really invest. And I think you go in there, every one of them will tell you this was our best game in a long time of how hard we played. I mean, I really I said something quickly to Brad, that's the hardest we've played in several weeks. And uh, But uh, I'm going to tr- try to keep emphasizing it, screaming, stomping, whatever it takes kind of thing, but they've got to bring it. And uh, when they do that, we've, we've got a chance to be a good team. Roy, third straight game with Kennedy in double figures. Is he becoming a, a, a fixture in the starting lineup for you guys? I don't know. You know, it's <laughs> strange. We... I let four guys vote. I think I said this to the TV people before the game. I let uh, Hubert, uh, CB, Steve, and Brad. I said, all oh, you guys vote in the starting lineup, and I didn't start the lineup that any of them put out there. You know, so it's, uh, it uh, just depends what kind of mood I'm in. But he's really done some better things, yes. And uh, I tell you, another guy that only played very few minutes but really gave us – Desmond played four minutes and really gave us a big lift. He was great defensively. I think he had a block shot. Uh, uh, you know, and he's been out with the concussion. But uh, in the first half, I thought when we there started to get some separation, uh, I think when Desmond was in there. But Desmond, uh, Joel, Kennedy, they should be each other's biggest fans. And if they do that, then we've got that chemistry that we need to have. And 
one of them. I don't care if it's the whole season or whatever, but somebody's got to step up every game, and it's been Kennedy the last couple of times. Is Kennedy starting to get in, in good enough shape where he can start playing longer stretches now? I don't know. You know, the other night I think he played the last 13 minutes of the game, but we were so bad I just wanted him to stay out there, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, Bryce played seven and a half minutes in a row tonight, and I just took him out to give him a breather. But uh, I'd like for him to be – there's no magic weight, but I'd like for him to be lower so he can be more explosive. Uh, you know, he didn't handle it quite as well inside uh, five of nine, and, you know, every one of his shots were three inches away from the basket. But uh, uh, he is doing some good things, and uh, he's working harder defensively and is the best passer of all of them. Do you talk like about this can be like a springboard, not to say that you'll run the table the rest of the way, but the way you guys won with the sense of urgency that you were talking about? Well, if, they, if they'll embrace that and do that every game, it'll help us. But in this league, it's uh, nothing's a given. You know, we could go out the next time, and I did honestly ask our team who we played next and what night it was, and that's the way I look at things, and uh, uh, we've got to be able to do it every night. We have no chance if we don't do that. I've had some teams that were very gifted that could win without their best effort, but this is a team that really needs to have that maximum effort. Can you talk about your team defense tonight? It seemed like every shot Clemson took was the best that they had good looks. Well, you know, we tried to, but I really do believe that they had some open looks in the first half particularly that they just didn't make. Now, at the end of the game, I thought they were making every three down the stretch the last four or five minutes. They made four of their six threes, I think, were in the last four minutes of the game. Uh, but uh, we are trying to get better defensively. I think the kids understand how important it is, but I also think we were fortunate that uh, Clemson missed some shots. What do you think's changed in James Michael between the last couple seasons and this one? More consistency, more explosiveness. Well, I love the way he played tonight. Okay, I love the way he played last Saturday uh, against Virginia. I think he did some good things, but uh, I want him to be consistent every day, every day, every day. And uh, we're still looking for that. And if he goes nine for thirteen, I think. I'm not mistaken, last Saturday he was like 7 for 10 or something, too. So In his last four games, he's 27 of 44, okay, 60-plus percent. Yeah, we'd take that. Now, if we can just translate that over to the free throw line, too, we'd really be pleased. Anybody else? Okay, players are available in the lounge. Thanks for not asking me about the street, because I never mentioned it. Our team, we have nothing to do with that. <laughs>